where you live. Well, there are the storms here to the north with all the watches and warnings in effect. These storms are moving east in Michigan, but some of these storms up near Chicago, which have been moving eastward, are kind of developing a cold pool behind them. So they're kind of starting to surge forward a little bit. So therefore, they're kind of sagging a little bit southeast. So uh, you can see the line going all the way back to south east of Des Moines. Now, why is that important to us? Well, I think as the line kind of sags southeastward overnight, it may affect the northern half of the viewing area. Now, pretty much battleground southward, there's a pretty low potential of any storms. But battleground northward, that would be the area that gets skimmed by some of these storms. There could be a few pockets of damaging wind. And it is about two to three hours away. It's kind of moving east southeast at 45 miles an hour. So uh, for about the Rensselaer area to Kentland, it would be about two and a half, three hours by the time that moves in to your area. But the other weather story are the temperatures. Very hot today. 96 again for the high today here at the station. 97 Monticello. Marianne up there at Remington. 97 degrees at her weather station. 97 Winnemac and 94 at Frankfurt. And at this hour, this is as warm as I've ever seen it at 11 o'clock since I've been here since 08. 85 Rochester and Lafayette. 84 Fowler and are still holding on to 86 degrees at Pence and Perrysville. And any storms tonight will get out of here. There may be a lingering storm in the far northeast tomorrow morning at 72. 86 by noon, 91 at 5, and more storms during tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. And some of those will be severe with mainly a damaging straight line wind threat. Three rounds of storms, one tonight in the northern half, area-wide tomorrow, area-wide on Friday as a cold front moves through and brings cooler and less humid air as we head towards the weekend. So tonight, again, from about Fowler to near Battleground, maybe West Lafayette, down to about Burlington and Kokomo and northward, some of those storms will affect you uh, during the overnight hours tonight, and then they'll kick on out of here, and we'll see a bit of a break for tomorrow morning before more storms from tomorrow afternoon. Notice tomorrow afternoon, more storms developing. Looks like a wave, a cluster of storms passing through with a damaging wind threat, and we'll have another on Friday. Very warm in the south tonight. 76 for the low Crawford zone, Perrysville, 72 Lafayette, 68 at Winnemac, and 70 at Chalmers. And highest tomorrow, where we've got a lakefront kind of sagging into the north, will be in the low 80s. But 91 Lafayette, Frankfurt, 93 Crawfordsville, and with a lot of sun, that lake breeze boundary and the outflow boundary from the storms tonight will be kind of a, a triggering mechanism for additional storms tomorrow and a triggering mechanism for more storms to develop and congeal through the day. So let's go into a little more detail with this. Notice, again, there's tonight. That moves through. Tomorrow, more storms, a little complex of storms here. Passing through the viewing area, another one on Friday with the cold front, and then it cools off as we head towards the weekend. There's a seven day forecast 91 for tomorrow, 90 Friday, 83 Saturday and Sunday, lows overnight in the 50s, and another heat wave next week with more storms Monday, Tuesday. Nicole? I know you're going to be happy for the lower humidity because your hair. I know. Yeah, good thing it's short. Yeah, I don't have to worry too much about the humidity, but you know, it will feel a lot better by the week. In fact, with the lower humidity and 50s at night, it's, it's looking really good for Saturday. Wow, Sunday. that'll be wonderful. It will be. Thanks, Chad. Okay. And Caleb Martin.